Why Sri Lanka's economy collapsed and what's next? Sri Lanka with an acute foreign currency crisis that resulted in foreign debt default, had announced in April that it is suspending nearly $7 billion foreign debt repayment due for this year out of about $25 billion due through 2026. Sri Lanka, a country of 22 million people, is under the grip of an unprecedented economic turmoil, the worst in seven decades, crippled by an acute shortage of foreign exchange that has left it struggling to pay for essential imports of fuel, and other essentials. Hundreds of anti-government protesters on Saturday stormed into Rajapaksa's residence in central Colombo's high-security fort area after breaking the barricades as they demanded his resignation over the island nation's worst economic crisis in recent memory. Another group of protesters entered the private residence of Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh here and set it on fire. How serious is this crisis? The government owes $51 billion and is unable to make interest payments on its loans, let alone put a dent in the amount borrowed. Tourism, an important engine of economic growth, has sputtered because of the pandemic and concerns about safety after terror attacks in 2019. And its currency has collapsed by 80%, making imports more expensive and worsening inflation that is already out of control, with food costs rising 57%, according to official data. The result is a country hurtling towards bankruptcy with hardly any money to import gasoline, milk, cooking gas and toilet paper. Political corruption is also a problem, not only did it play a role in the country squandering its wealth, but it also complicates any financial rescue for Sri Lanka. Anit Mukherjee, a policy fellow and economist at the Center for Global Development in Washington said any assistance from the IMF or World Bank should come with strict conditions to make sure the aid isn't mismanaged. Still, Mukherjee noted that Sri Lanka sits in one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, so letting a country of such strategic significance collapse is not an option. Why did the Prime Minister say the economy has collapsed? The stark declaration in June by Vikram Singh who is in his sixth term as Prime Minister, threatened to undermine any confidence in the state of the economy and didn't reflect any specific new development. The Prime Minister appeared to be underscoring the challenges facing his government as it seeks help from the IMF and confronts criticism over the lack of improvement since he took office weeks earlier. The comment might have been intended to try to buy more time and support as he tries to get the economy back on track. The finance ministry said Sri Lanka had only $25 million in usable foreign reserves. That has left it without the wherewithal to pay for imports, let alone repay billions in debt. Meanwhile the Sri Lankan rupee has weakened in value to about 360 to the U. That makes costs of imports even more prohibitive. Sri Lanka has suspended repayment of about $7 billion in foreign loans due this year out of $25 billion to be repaid by 2026. What is the government doing about the crisis? So far Sri Lanka has been muddling through, mainly supported by $4 billion in credit lines from India. An Indian delegation came to the capital. Colombo, in June for talks on more assistance, but Vikram Singh he warned against expecting India to keep Sri Lanka afloat for long. Sri Lanka pins last hopes on IMF, read a June headline in the Colombo Times. The government is in negotiations with the IMF on a bailout plan, and Vikram Singh he has said he expected to have a preliminary agreement later this summer. Sri Lanka has also sought more help from China. Other governments like the US, Japan and Australia have provided a few hundred million dollars in support. Earlier in June, the United Nations launched a worldwide public appeal for assistance. So far, 
projected funding barely scratches the surface of the $6 billion the country needs to stay afloat over the next six months. To counter Sri Lanka's fuel shortage, Vikram Singh he told the Associated Press in a recent interview that he would consider buying more steeply discounted oil from Russia.